Hello everybody, Ministorm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron for the United States. In the last episode, we continued pushing uh, the opposing forces uh, back into Canada and through the Western United States, or what used to be the Western United States. Anyway, uh, we were able to actually force the Constitutionalists to capitulate, but they're still kicking around a little bit. And the other thing is that we've been able to keep Mexico out of the war for the time being by keeping our relationship with them good. So that's good. We're trying to get to Vancouver so we can hopefully capitulate Canada. Uh, which would then you know, which would then also be a very good thing. And we're going to clean up all of the northern areas here. We'll have to throw the British troops out of here. Unfortunately, the British fascists failed in their civil war. They pretty much just hold Northern Ireland, Ireland right now. Um, Germany is having some issues because the Soviet Union and the Comintern have joined the war. Which includes now uh, Republican Spain and everything. They're being squeezed. So that's that's going to be something we're going to deal with. Um, looks like that there is an Indian Civil War, which half of that joined the Axis. Uh, the Japanese are doing well in China, so good for them. Unfortunately, they're not one of our allies, so... Not a lot I can really, you know, worry about there. So, we're just going to keep working on what we're working on. Uh, we did apparently leave some Canadian troops on our flank. Uh, we are falling back to deal with that particular problem. We'll deal with that. And then we will see how things go. Attention. So some pause, it, let it run. Yes, sir. Listen up. Yep, they're trying to they're trying to march out of there. Orders. I think what you probably need to do is just march north and get all the way to Seattle. Some convoys. All right, we privatized TVA, National Employment Strategy, Production Efficiency Growth plus ten percent. Yes, go for that. We need production efficiency. We should be good for that, though. Looks like we still have some production efficiency to work on for our M1 Grands. Um. We have a lot of repairs to make. Right, let's get these factories repaired first. Keep on moving. Alright, there's Excavation 3. We're not in 41 yet. Synthetic oil. I don't think we really need to worry about synthetic oil right now. Oil refining wouldn't be terrible. I mean, we could start getting some new aircraft. 
P-39s, Air Cobras. Go right now, I'm not... Uh, Yunnan has capitulated. Alright. So yeah, right now I'm not worried about too many, like, infantry equipment. Like, designs and things like that, because... I want to just keep my production efficiency high. Yeah, they're protecting that port. Okay, makes sense. So, we're just going to work on our doctrines. Get those all taken care of. Can I take Portland? Yeah, we've been having chromium issues. Uh, Turkey, can you send us chromium? Well, the issue is that we're running out of convoys. Even though we're building them pretty quickly. German Reich wants to send us some Mausers. Alright. And what are we actually trading for here? We probably don't need tungsten anymore. Buying rubber. We're buying chromium. Is there a source of chromium that I might be able to get for myself? There's some in Central America. There's a whole bunch in Cuba. There's a little bit up here in Canada. Do I have anything where I can develop my own local deposits? A bauxite, aluminum, steel. No, no chromium. All right, you guys. Attention. Take that back. Japan's canceling their lend lease. All right. But they want to send us some stuff. Can we improve our relations with Japan? They're still at war. Communist China. Nope, they won't let us send an attaché there. But we'll try and improve those relations. Speaking of improving relations... Yunnan Free Empire was puppeted. Shangxi Yan State was puppeted. 
But I believe they're still at war with Communist China, right? No, they're not at war with anybody yet, anymore. Japan. I didn't actually get that message from Japan. They wanted to send volunteers, and I would have said yes. Oh, a gap formed in the line. Ready, sir. I may be able to take advantage of that. Ready. Oh, what? I said extend the line. There we go. Commands. Listen up. Alright, all of this is being mopped up here. Assassination of Leon Trotsky. Leon Trotsky, once the top lieutenant and the heir presumptive of Vladimir Ilyich Lenin, died today in a Mexico City hospital. He was attacked in his home with an ice axe by a Spanish national believed to have been the employee of the NKVD. After a power, failed power struggle with, the, with Joseph Stalin and his allies for control of the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, Trotsky spent the 30s in exile, living in Turkey, France, and Norway before finally settling in Mexico. He remained a constant critic of Stalin and the degenerated workers' state of the Soviet Union. Looks like we lost a whole bunch of subs. Yeah, you guys want to get repairs. In fact, go ahead and get repairs now. Alright, Venezuela wants to send us some infantry equipment. I will take the infantry equipment. Steady progress is being made. All right, looks like they decided to evacuate. Not entirely unexpected. Go, go, go. All right, then what we'll do is we'll just clean that up. But all these divisions are almost on their training. And these just need some more tanks. So 
Is there anything that we have a surplus of? Not really. Oh, El Salvador wants to send us more infantry equipment. You attack them? Yeah, there we go. Let's go. So like these guys are fighting with the Italian guns. These guys have some Dominican guns and some Venezuelan guns. Venezuela declared war on the Netherlands. Venezuela joined the Axis. Well, we have a new ally. Very interesting. National employment strategy's done. Good. Let's see. Honor the Confederacy. The following must be true. Is in a civil war, current ruling party is fascist. Unlocks honor the Confederacy decisions. These decisions allow us to rebuild the people's trust in the event of a civil war by reconnecting with the past. I guess we'll do that. We haven't given many of these positive. Uh, we should probably modify the government. Um, I really haven't been doing this. Um, inventory expert, army logistics, and uh, close air support. Let's go with that. Okay. Keep on moving. So that's all been handled over there. All right, then Come all on, of you guys on. get on that front. Call in. Let's actually give you some real orders. Oh, you want to cause attrition, huh? Listen up. Ready to move. Listen up. All right, get over there and finish absorbing that. What is a supply map, by the way? Yeah, we have some supply issues there. We're attacking some British convoys. Any, any opportunities here that we can take? I mean, I could try to do some encirclements, but I don't think I have the troops. India has capitulated. Good.
How is Germany doing? Well, they have a British invasion in Brittany to deal with. Simpson wounded. Is there anything over there that I should probably take? Well, they do have a naval base. So, we should probably take that. Alright, so what is Canada's current progress towards capitulation at 91%? Hey, we have free dockyards. Get some convoys built. Alright, let's do uh, encryption and let's do some infantry doctrine, research it. I actually want to spend this army experience on, because uh, we're getting a little bit behind on our light tank designs. That's the M5, Stuart. We're going to up armor. We're going to up gun. Improve reliability. And improve the engine a little bit. Start manufacturing those. I haven't really worked on much for the Navy. And I never did actually create that Cleveland class. You know what? What we should probably do is make a bunch of submarines. Um, yeah, let's replace some of those subs. All right, that's done. I think what we're going to do is we're going to schedule a naval invasion into there. We'll see how that goes. Yes, sir. Actually, no. We're not going to do it with that. Uh, these guys should press over here. Yeah, these tank divisions have no tanks. Mm. 
none. We have absolutely, like, no tanks. All of our tanks are currently in... in the, uh, the divisions that are being trained right now. Ready, sir. So these are actually, like, motorized infantry divisions that could potentially have some tanks. All right, we got more lend lease coming in. Good. Let's continue to improve our relations with China, well, not China, with Japan. Fall of Warsaw. Oh. Oh, well, Germany's making a lot of progress there. They must have initiated a major offensive. Pakistan joined the United Kingdom. Pakistan declared war on free India. Italy lays claim to Greek territory. Greece joined the Allies. Italy has declared war on Greece. Alright. Well, India needs to get some troops over there. hope Germany takes back Brittany because uh, there's no troops defending that border so they need to go for it the Mexican Republic has joined the constitutionalist as our ally That... that... didn't quite make any sense. Indian-Mexican War. I've really got to get Canada dealt with. In fact... Uh, this army is now free. So you guys head to the Mexican border. Just... just get out get down there now so I think it's only a matter of time before Mexico joins the war on the opposing side and I want to have some troops down there that uh, will be ready for that eventuality Almost to Seattle. Uh, 
called arms request from Italy. Italy. Enemies. Mexican Republic. No. Not yet. Alright, but I think that we are at the end of the episode here. So good progress was made. We cleaned this all up. Dealt with that little business there. And we're pushing closer and closer to Vancouver. I think once Vancouver falls, Canada will be done. And... Then we can consolidate. We're probably going to have to go to war with Mexico and just deal with that before we deal with anything in Europe. I'm pretty sure. Alright. But we will get to work, or we'll continue our work on that when we come back. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.